Hey everybody, it's Shelby with a Chick Plus 3. Welcome, I'm so glad you're here. If you are new to my channel and are so inclined, it'd be awesome if you want to stick around and subscribe. And if you're one of my returning subscribers, I'm so happy you are back again because today I have an awesome Dollar Tree haul for you all. Um, it's a balmy 27 degrees here and I kid you not it when it you're used to the single digits and it's 27 it really makes me feel like spring is in the air so I made my regular weekend trip out to the Dollar Tree and I found some incredible new things that I am so excited to share with you all. So I'm going to get right to that and just a quick reminder for those that are interested in my crafts. Tomorrow I will have a crafting corner up so that will be Sunday the 21st and it will be a St. Patrick's Day themed. So um, if you want to come back and join me in the craft that would be fantastic too. So what do you say I will stop gabbing though and jump right in. Let's go. I guess some of the first things I will start with are some of the sweets. Now, these things were just too cute. I've never seen them at my Dollar Tree before, and it is these little dinosaur covered eggs. Now, inside are Smarties candies, and so it's really cute. These are rubbery, and they're molded around this Easter egg, so you could just pop that egg out. Um, and refill it put your own Easter egg in there so I got one of each of these to go in my grandkids Easter baskets that I'm going to put together for them um, they had all different colors different dinosaurs the only creature I saw was a dinosaur I did not see any other little animals but these I think are just stinking cute they're ages three and up that's what the tags look like. They feel like squishy. So really, really cute. I think my grandkids will get a kick out of those. So I was excited to find those. But what beat out those are these next items. I cannot believe that these are at the Dollar Tree. Um, these are things that I have seen my grandkids get at Target for far more than a dollar. And they are these little pop-up lollipops. So my grandson is still very much into Paw Patrol. So I got him this one. And you push it up and there's your lollipop. And that one. I thought those are so adorable. And then my granddaughter, of course, not to be left out. Look at this little flamingo and the unicorn. And there are their lollipops. These things are just so adorable. I was really excited to find these. Um, so it's a .35 ounce lollipop in there. Uh, I'm sure the lollipop will taste just wonderful. Pop-Ups is the brand. I believe that's a name brand, you know, not a Greenbrier product. But again, those were so cute. So they had more than these four that I got, but um, I picked out ones that I thought went with the personality of my grandkids. So I was super, super excited to find those. The next sweet I picked up is for myself, and it's these Reese's Peanut Butter Eggs. So this is not a huge bag. Let's see, you get... Um, how many in here? Three, so you get six. You get uh, eight pieces, it looks like. So I'm not sure how cost effective that is, but as far as I've said this before, if I get a big bag, I'll eat a big bag. So just getting, you know, this at the Dollar Tree is a nice little treat for me. I love Reese's peanut butter cups, the eggs, so I grabbed those for myself. 
The next candy I picked up are these um, Tiger Pops. Now, I've bought plenty of Tiger Pops in the past. These are the Easter theme ones. Now, I already ripped into the bag to give my grandson one because he is a lollipop aficionado and I wanted his opinion on them. He loved them so much so that he wanted two in a row. So I'm not sure if you can see the pattern there, but each lollipop is a little decorated Easter egg. So they're really sweet and they come in three colors. So I will pull them out for you. Red, blue, and then this pretty green. So the flavors of these are cherry, watermelon, and blue raspberry. So again, the Tiger Pops, they carry these all the time. Different holidays, different themes. But so I thought these were really cute being decorated for Easter. That one has a little chick imprinted on it. Just super, super, super sweet. So I got those. Um, those are for the grandkids. They love their lollipops. The next thing I got is for my husband and myself, Junior Mints, but they're the eggs. And these Junior Mints are in the dark chocolate, so I really like these. Um, so I just grabbed us a box of those. Again, name brand for a dollar. You can't eat that. I also um, picked up for us the Russell Stover Chocolate Marshmallow Filled Chocolates. You get four in the pack. But what I found interesting about these is these are filled with the chocolate marshmallow instead of the white. So I'm not a huge fan of just like the white marshmallow. So I'm thinking, you know, these will be more up my alley with the chocolate marshmallow inside. So I grabbed a pack of those and that's the first time I've ever seen them with the chocolate marshmallow unless I just never looked close enough in the past I don't know but so I was very interested in getting those um, let's see the next item I picked up I focused on a lot of food and candy uh, on this trip these are the now and later jelly beans so this is a four ounce bag and I liked that these are the little tiny jelly beans and the expiration date on these are January 2022 but they're apple, cherry, watermelon, grape, strawberry and banana. So you know some different flavors than the um, regular packages of jelly beans and again I liked that these are the little mini size jelly beans so I thought those were cute. So I grabbed a bag of those. I'm sure they'll be tasty. And then also, I figured since we're going to try different jelly beans, why not try these? And these are the Starburst Original. And in this package, you get 4.5 ounces. And again, by feeling these through the pack, um, they definitely feel, again, like the little size jelly beans and the expiration date on these are September 2021. So again, this bag, 4.5 ounces, and the now and later, you get 4 ounces. So some nice name brand um, jelly beans to try. I also very much enjoy just, I don't remember now the brand name, but the ones that the Dollar Tree typically sells that are the larger size jelly beans. Those are all good also. Now the next um, non-treat item I picked up, and this, you know, I, I just could not pass up. This is one of the Fairy Garden accessory pieces and it's just this little apple house. And I saw this and I figured, you know, if I don't get it now, it won't be around later. And so um, I just liked that it's an apple. I think it could fit in my decor various times throughout the year. Um, this one just, as I say, really caught my eye. And so I thought that was sweet. So I grabbed that. 
I also picked up another staple in our household and it's the Kraft Jet Puffed Marshmallow Cream. Um, I keep intending to make fudge. I haven't gotten around to it yet and so in the time that lapses between my idea and not getting it done, my husband keeps eating the marshmallow cream for his peanut butter and fluff sandwiches. So then I have to keep buying another one in hopes of making my fudge. So this time I got smart. I bought two. So I put one up in the cupboard that he can eat and then this one I'll put in my baking cupboard and I'm bound and determined to get that fudge done. The next thing I picked up, I just needed a replacement box um, for my grandkids, the Kraft Mac and Cheese. They were over earlier in the week and um, ate my second to last box. So this is something I don't like to run out of. And the same thing with the Mrs. Freshly's um, powdered sugar, the white powdered sugar donuts. Uh, these, I was smart again, checked the expiration date. These are good until March 25th, 2021. So plenty of time to eat them. You get four servings in here. And what I like is each package is individually wrapped. So, um, you know, you don't have to open the whole box and have them go stale. So I grabbed that. I also picked up for my husband and I to try uh, this European cookie brand and these are lemon flavored shortbread so we both really enjoy shortbread but i was intrigued at this lemon flavor you know nice and refreshing i'm definitely even though there's snow outside um, i'm starting to definitely be in the mindset of spring and so something just very spring-like and refreshing to me uh, sounding with the lemon flavor. So I thought we would try those and you get, let's see, eight, nine, looks like you get 10 cookies in here. And these are uh, imported by Greenbrier, but the cookies themselves are made in Germany. So truly European. So I picked those up. And um, then the last item I picked up are these Baker's Select Chocolate Chip Mini Muffins. I have not purchased these in quite some time. They used to be in the longer, um, thinner box. Now they've put them in this little square box. You get three pouches of four muffins each. So again, individually wrapped. I like that about them. It says that they're made with real Belgian chocolate. I know in the past when we had these, um, you know, my grandchildren loved them. And certainly the price for these, just being a dollar for the three pouches, is a better deal in my eyes than um, the ones in the grocery store like Entenmann's Hostess, what the name brand ones, um, like I say, you know, to pick them up for a dollar. I don't think you can beat that. So that's everything I have to share for today's haul. I hope you're still here so I can properly thank you for joining me. I appreciate everybody's support. If you're so inclined, I'd love it if you like what you saw and would like to subscribe and become part of our wonderful little YouTube community here. That would be a great thing. And as always, everybody, until next time, be well.